Scientists and Archaeologists, I'm John Proxy. Welcome to the Proximity. I'm about to begin a Mist 3 Exile Adventure live on the internet. I'm just going to press the new game button rather than just explaining stuff because I suspect I'm going to have a lot of downtime to explain stuff, which is why I uh, decided to redo this introduction. Let's click on new game, shall we? Uh, would you like to save your current game? No, because I only started a current game to test out to see if it worked or not. Uh, don't save. Oh, Ubisoft. I was planning on not playing Ubisoft games, but, uh... This is an old game. I don't think it counts. Do I have sound? I do. I realised as our group went back to Dunham that we should not restore the city as we had planned. Once magnificent buildings lay in ruin, a testament to the hatred that had consumed them. Too many people prejudice and greed from which it sprang. Gazing out across the cavern, I decided to write another age. One that would help the Dunny survivors begin again, free from the tragedies of their past. So with my wife, Catherine, supporting me, I put aside that past to write a future. More than a year has gone by since I finished writing Venetian. I have a new daughter, who I hope will someday go to that age with me. And as I imagine Yisha, meeting the Dunny, those brave men and women who are building a new life for themselves, I realize I've been given another chance as well. A chance to learn from my mistakes, and leave the past behind me, once and for all. So I was fiddling with my earpiece because his voice was sounding a little crunchy there. Um, which is something I'm going to have to test out. I don't know if... Breathtaking, isn't it? Oh, that's fine. And look, we have a new gimmick. We're not on flat screens anymore. Oh, we're on 360 screens, aren't we? That's not going to make things... We call it Tamana. Confusing. We moved here after H has finished writing Relishan. He wanted us to have a new home too. I'm so glad to see you. I told Atrus our paths would cross again. He was just going to grab something for your trip to Relation, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Unless he decides to check over the whole house first, which means he could be hours resetting all his padlocks. But I know he's looking forward to introducing you to the Dunny, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Why don't you wait in his study? Yes, uh, so I wanted to start the headphones, but I can't do that. Like, I've just started a stream. Um, Dunny, Dunny. Yes, I've, I've not forgotten you pushed me into space, lady. Um, well, one of you did. There's a bird. Uh, she wants me to go into the study. And click on all the things. There we go, we've taken a step forwards. I don't think you, you look like... You know, this trip is exactly what Atrus needs right now. I haven't been able to get him out of the house for months, ever since you found his journals out of place. Mm. But seeing how well the Dunny have settled in on Relishan should help him to finally relax. <laughs> There's some reversing in there. Uh, yeah, don't reverse. That looks really weird. Why did you choose to extend that with a reverse? Not a reverse, it's it's ping-ponging. Don't ping-pong the baby, it looks weird. Uh, some plants and stuff. I'm sorry, the other door. What secrets hide behind this tree? Okay, let's open the door. We have ourselves a study. I'll c close the door. No, we cannot close the door. Hmm. Well, 
recognize that symbol. I think that means one, right? That must not work as a book. Okay. We are not permitted to look at those things. That's the door we came from, I think. Or is that the door we came from? I'm allowed to look at the below picture. What's the what's going on here? Okay, so it tells me when it's going to zoom. All right, I mean it, it doesn't always tell me when it's going to zoom, but it sometimes tells me. Uh, it's really, sh really Shan. It's, it's Hello, my friend. I see you found the release Shan book. Catherine tells me you've been here for some time. Sorry if I've kept you waiting. Since we'll be gone a few days, I needed to secure some of my things. And I also wanted to bring you this. It's a journal I kept while I was writing release on. I thought you might find it interesting to read about what I'd hoped to achieve compared to what the age truly is. Well, just let me get my keys to unlock release on. We'll be off. Oh, and I'm interested in hearing what you've been up to in recent months. Floating through space, dickhead. <laughs> Oh! Oh my! I didn't recognize who it was! Ah, oh, that's. Uh, I can actually at least read the writing this time. Okay, we're not reading this just yet. Apparently, I do have to just immediately dive in. Wasn't quite finished searching the room. You can't professional actors. Not all professional actors. They've kept the uh, actor for. He just, isn't he just one of the dudes who makes the game? Like, because he's in all of them. Is he going to be his th evil third cousin? Well, we best chase after him. It's the background I put on. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, hang on. What's he going to do then? Just having a, a wonder in his room. Look outside, you bastard. Right here. Refuses. Right, uh, we should have a proper look around then. Where did we come from? This is not where we came from. Let's try and get where we came from. Uh, here is where we came from. Hmm. Is that through the top or through the... There's a purple thing there. Okay, so I'm going to just try and get a feel for the place first. There's some C. This is the red beacon. That is... Uh, I mean, that's just blank. I can't even see myself. Okay. We can just... Those bars... Do they stop me, those bars? They do, they do stop me. That presumably is the purple beacon. Well, oh, hang on. So we can look at it from this side as well. 
Oh, but now it reflects something else. Hmm. We must witness all states. Okay, this seems like the least, like, complex side to investigate. Right, I've got a swish num uh, button that goes swish, swish. and these horns. Oh, hang on! Doesn't just end. Of course, it never just ends. Wait, what? Huh? Why am I getting lens flare on a person? Oh, it's not lens flare, it's just brightness when you look at the sun. That's a detail. Okay, well, uh, I don't know why I'd want that. It's obviously want the, uh, the gate. Huh. That's a very weird system you built. Oh, I managed to bonk the door. And that's it. See, yeah, yeah, I like this. Um, okay, so I did, I, I really did enjoy Ribbon, but like it did frustrate me just having just so much open space and just not knowing what even what I was trying to achieve. Like, look, a door. A door that I can't get to. How do I open the door? Probably something to do with that thing that it's gone out its way to show me with the ladder. And yeah. So I'm just going to say that Riven probably a little bit too smart for me, I'm afraid. Well, there's what? Four states. Now, both up. I'll try that up now. Hmm. I want to walk past it. I think that's solved. Cool. I'm not sure how the physics of that made sense, but um, oh, I probably did. So what? I'll, yeah, I was just wobbling a thing like that, and I was just making sure the ball went on the opposite side so I could approach this door. Not that I want all the puzzles to be self-contained either. It's just nice having some of them be self-contained. Right, well, we're not quite done with this then yet. So I've got a barrel. We're going to have a barrel of fun. Yeah, it's, it, they... They never go, quite go where I expect. 
because there's three of these and only two of these. So I keep going, okay, that'll pour it down, and then the other one goes up. But, uh, I mean, if I keep fiddling with it, I reckon I can get that to go back the other direction. Uh, I expect that will be that one, but it does, like, multiple, I think. Yeah, it does. And then I'll want it back up, and hopefully we'll push that one up. No. It's not the one I wanted up, so let's push that one down. And this one down. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Like, I couldn't 100% predict which one was going to move up and down, but I got the general gist of it. Gist and general thing. Whatever. Um, I'm going to go down and explore this new room. Uh, which I can stand on the barrel. That's what, uh, totally what I wanted to do. Um, a part of me wants to explore first, because I, I want to see the effect that this has on what I'm doing. I'm actually going to come back. I'm going to save my game as well. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Lurker. Uh, let's continue. Yes, I mean, I'm probably it's probably fine for me to click, uh, but I, I want to explore the island first and get a feel for it. But we know this is a solved puzzle, essentially. There's a horn. I guess it might give me something to do with the horn. I don't want to... Maybe it just opens that, actually. Yeah, it probably just opens that. Probably fine for me to do that. Yeah, we're in the horn. It's going to be something. Certainly. <laughs> of course it's going to be something. You know what I mean. Right, well, I don't really have to worry about that because there's another puzzle. Cool, I mean, that looks like uh, a lock to me. Hmm. I'm not seeing an obvious code anywhere so I'm assuming I'll find it later and we'll come back to it this seems this reminds me of this one where there was that clock and it just it wasn't nice about there being what was it like you could be very easily a tiny bit off and you're like you don't know if you've not solved the puzzle or if you've just got one of these slightly out of place although the difference is I can click a button here and it resets like so that that that's fine so I know I've got it wrong or well, at least it, I'm in a place I can easily try again cool let us explore somewhere else I don't ex expect to solve the entire place but I do get that this is an easier game than Riven I mean considering I solved even a tiny thing <laughs> speaks volumes um, okay one thing I do hope that it's learned from Riven is not to have tiny, tiny, tiny buttons that I'll never ever see. I'll have to look up. Uh, I believe we can't go that way. We could check on the villain. I don't know the actor's name, but I do recognize his face. Uh, hello? I'm selling these used washing machines. Can we get over there? Hmm. It's not escaped my notice. Down here, onto the beach. Oh god. <laughs> Riven. Not Riven, Exile, it's Exile. I assume he is the eponymous Exile. Also, I hope I used the word eponymous correctly there. Oh, I can get up here. Okay, cool. The titular. 
Hang on, should I look up the word eponymous? No, don't look up the word eponymous. Well, I'm assuming this does not come into play until I have some sort of power. There we go, there's yellow. C and the last one's going to be blank of course and it'll probably let me look at it from the other angle I mean what I could do is I could just set them so they're looking at the colours so there's red if I go over here is this set to yellow yeah so it's probably sensible to leave them set to the colours but again, I don't want to solve puzzles before I've started them, because that's going to get confusing. I'm going to deliberately not set that correctly. Or correctly. Um, right. Let's go over to yellow. Uh, is that where I came from? Right, I got distracted looking at a new route. It's always the way. Uh... We go to yellow first. Let's go to yellow first. We'll have a look at this. It's got three angles. And we're going to look at them all. We're going to just try and familiarize ourselves with everything. This game has to offer. I'm pretty sure my tea is cold. It is. Of course it is. Um, there's red. I don't think I need to look at every single angle. I think I get the general theme of what these are. So let's actually move on instead. Uh, are we at the limit? Okay, we've got another horn to explore, I think. Well, I'm calling them until I have a better name for them. Gonna make sure I'm not missing any secret buttons. Okay. Is this a bridge? What is this? Have a look at the flowers. Hmm. Is this a stealth puzzle? Accidentally climbed up then. No, I don't want to go up. I want to... Hang on. Oh, there's another ladder down, I see. Then I shall go down. Hmm. Fine, let's investigate this house. Hello? I'm selling, I'm looking for shoes, I'm a collector. Only the left ones, please. I'll click on this, see what happens. It opened door. Do it again. It does nothing. Okay, that's... Very impressive. None of these are undoable either. Hmm. Just the stranger going around clicking your buttons, no big deal. Hmm. And we're not quite done. I see we're at the other side though. What are you? Are you plants? Um, I'm not sure if you're a plant. Let's continue looking inside. We did, I, I assume, that closed door. No? This serves a function. I have to assume. Just not sure what. Perhaps if I go through here, I'll find answers to my questions.
part of the appeal of this game is just looking at the places. Well, uh, there's a hammock and a book. Okay, we're not reading this yet. I've not even read the first book. I will read the books. Uh, okay. You're not sneaking this past me, game. I see the symbols in the top right-hand corner. New language. New numbering system, I assume. I mean, it wouldn't do just to have the numbers of Riven. Because uh, they have, like, a base 5. That's the one thing I did figure out in Riven. I figured out their numbering system. Um, although they're saying that somebody did have to tell me about the toy. It's like, oh, yeah, of course. Is this a... Speaking of toys... Having a whale of a time. Okay, is this supposed to teach me a principle? Are we playing with leverage? So when you have one on this side and two on that side, you need to go uh, like two thirds for the leverage to work out properly. I'm assuming that's teaching me a principle, just in case I didn't know it. We'll leave the baby toy alone. We've had our fun. I know I can press escape and skip these, but uh, we, we, we don't need to just yet. Let's have a look at what this is. I'd have to walk all the way around. It's not rush. He's got no eyes. You draw that last, I guess. There's a, uh, I guess, ink and um, mortar. Bell. Is anyone in another weighing machine? We see this kind of. They weigh the same. There we go. Hammer. What is that? Like four? One? But let's not take anything for granted just yet. Oh, hang on. There's a crank. Cool. Uh, whoever made this doesn't seem as accomplished as um, Matey Jim. I've forgotten his name. It's, it's been like a week and I've forgotten his name already. Again, of course. Again and again and again. Uh, but we don't know who this new villain is. Probably the second cousin on his mother's side. All of all of Atrus's family is evil. Uh, that's never. Uh, is it more of a, is it a drink or a straw in? We love weighing things here. We're well into weighing things. We are. We are our favourite brothers are the weighing brothers. Let's have a look inside whatever this is. Perhaps we can turn it. Looks like we might be able to turn it at some point. Ooh. Perhaps we turn it by getting in. It's a lift. An elevator if you prefer. Cool. Now I can go below. Check out these mechanisms. Oh, it's one of, you have to hold it down. I don't know what's going on with that yet.
Oh, just messing about with the inner mechanisms of the lift. Doesn't seem dangerous at all. Uh, let's get out of here. How do, how do we get out of here? Okay, I'm going to cool down the lift again. Okay, there are two levers. Got to close the door behind us. My word. Uh, and of course. Click on the stuff. Let's have a look. Beneath our feet. Where the action is. Oh, there's Buddy again. Hello! Atrius? Is that you? Come to rescue your book so soon? Not yet, old friend. Not yet. got it wrong, Atrus don't do anything, he just sends me to do it all. Oh, I see. When the inner door. Ah, huh. that makes sense. So we we were standing out there looking for two sets of doors. Now we just have the one set of doors. Oh, and I assume this button will just take us back down again. We still have a lot of the island to explore, but uh, we got a conversation out of the dude. Well, we had a acknowledgement of our existence. Always nice. Double check this stuff here. What's this? Poor snail. What happened to you? That's not a snail. That's a. I'm um, like a squid. What is it? I don't know. Um. I'm gonna guess in earnest. That we're dealing with Atrus's best friend. He's like a member of the family. That's how close they were. Hmm. Oh, hang on. We had a place to explore, didn't we? New, a new door. Cool. Now, we've not finished searching up there, but we'll continue walking forwards. Look at the water. So yeah, that's all a part of the same thing. There is a whistling rock. Okay. 
Okay, it just seems to be a pathway right now. Yeah, we have a choice. Tell you what, I'm gonna go back down there. How do we access the books? If I'm like stuck on the middle. Okay, that's interesting. That's new. It telling me what I'm looking at. Right, so I'm gonna just gonna save at the Whistling Rock. Whistling Rock. We're gonna. There's the Whistling Rock. We had a fork in the road. Now I've left a fork back there as well. Uh, we'll take this first. Oh, hang on, it's one of... it's... This looks like a thing I'd be able to interact with. Like, from this particular side. When you walk forwards, you walk through it. Very strange. Uh, we have ourselves... Uh, another horn and another door. Door does not want to open. Cool. That that that's fine. That means don't have to worry about that route. Take this route instead. A route, if you prefer. Um. Well, that's strange. Not sure what that is. Uh, I guess I should mentally know that this exists. How, how do I... Oh, I can click. Okay, at some point we'll read books. Maybe I'll read like a passage or two. So it's not all at once. So uh, that date there. I'm not going to read the dates. I always feared this day would come. For years, Catherine and I had dreamed of restoring to me. We've dedicated our lives to the task, taking it upon ourselves to locate the citizens of Dini and convince them to return to their ruined city and rebuild. Our dream has to become the dream of so many now. What has, by the uh, And the progress we have made, or progress if you prefer, uh, towards achieving it, it is something of which we can all be stand proud. But I know that is that it has been a mistake. The city of Dini should not have been restored. It should stand forever in ruins, as both a symbol of our past mistakes and a memorial to those who lost their, lost their lives when Dini fell. The devastating effects of recent months, the war on Terrani, and the death of Uta, in particular, has driven this truth home to me quite forcefully. If we rebuild the city walls today... Are we not giving approval to the very illness that destroyed our civilization in the first place? Are we not setting ourselves up to repeat that pattern again for future generations? I must... Okay, yeah, I'll read to the day. I have put much thought into this tonight and found only one solution. If we, the men and women who survived the downfall of Dini, are to thrive, then we must break the pattern of hatred which has destroyed so many lives. We must begin our civilization anew, and we can only do that if I write us a new age. I've spoken with Catherine about this. She agrees. I only hope the others will see it as well. Cool. Hmm. Hang on. That looks familiar. Doesn't it? It does. Hmm, okay. We're still exploring, though. Reached yellow. Have we been to yellow before? That kind of looks different. I'm not used to that. There's 
blue. Not sure what that is. Oh, well, that's what we were zooming in on. I see. Alright, well that's all mixed up. Okay, this is where we split the path before. So I believe we've searched everywhere. So don't recognize green. So we can see the lift. Cool. So, as far as I can tell, we have two puzzles that we should be focusing on. This one. the other one. Now this presumably just requires me to know the code. Okay so the sound just repeats. Look at the pictures. I want to leave it on the correct page. Okay, this seems like what I should pursue. This page here. So let's return to the lift. I'm not sure which is the quickest way there. This is missing thingy.
the lift. So if we look in the book, it's a uh, it's a one two three two one uh three two two. I guess like that. Okay, if we look at the book again. So uh hmm. Uh we're seeing Oh hang on. I think we generally want those facing the other way. But we want one the other way. That's facing out. It's facing out. That's facing in. Cool. That's I, I just want it to be that one next. This is mid jam, I believe. And this is in the hole. Cool, I don't know what this is going to do, but let's save it. Mechanism. I might just press that bit. Because he looks down. I was thinking getting in.
Okay, so yeah, he's scavenged a device from here to build something, but we can still use it by hand, it says. But I've done that, but I don't actually know what it's done. Presumably this is all the stuff he scavenged. Hmm. Maybe having the lift upstairs is a good thing as well. egg oh I'm not sure now so much for being easier well I'm pretty sure it still is easier oh I know did I see this before Hello? Well, we've clearly done the most important thing, which is to cheer up this little creature. For some reason. Ooh. Oh, well, I could point these all at things, couldn't I? I just don't think it's going to do anything yet.
just did that one done. Seems like it's quick, but I'll turn it around again. That's interesting. That seems more like it though. Yeah. That's broken. Not gonna be able to finish the circuit. It's kind of weird. Yeah, hang on, where does this take me? Hmm. What's our friend we made? I'm gonna wait all the time. You what? What's this? For listening to noises. Okay, you know what the best thing about this puzzle is? That um, just the subtitles just gave away what I was doing here. And to be honest, I hated sound puzzles in all three games. And I'm just glad that it just went, Lagoon Water! Oh, thank goodness it's telling me to listen. Because I just, I know my brain never says, listen. <laughs> know what I mean? Like, it's just not a thing I ever caught on to. 
Possibly because I'm talking. That's not quite what I was expecting to go with that, but uh, I'll take it. I clicked on it because, oh, that was the new thing I achieved, right? So, and of course we needed a bridge. Hello? I'm selling these 1940s geography books. Would you be interested? There's a forward by... Duncan and PJ. Hang on. Recognize this puzzle. Right, that is a symbol I see in the middle. Let's write that down. That's a plus sign with like a little line in it. Cool. Neat. So, so far there's been a couple of places that I feel really lucky to have actually clicked on. So I really should be careful about not running everywhere. Just want to check. Symbol. You can actually still play with this, right? Just not sure why I would. Okay, so that is different. This is a plus sign with an X. So, we're going to look at the books. So, I do see this numbering system up here, these branches. Not gonna worry too much about that too much. Um, I, I'm, probably, I'm I'm just gonna have to read these. I'm not gonna just yet, but I I know I do. I'm not seeing anything from these books. Don't that one. Continue exploring. Because there's so many combinations for those locks. But yes, we have 
two locks now. Uh, one, two, two locks with a plus sign in, one with a slash, and one with an X. I assume there's a third one, and I'm guessing they're associated with these horns. So I'll tell you what, let's double check that it's this horn that I unlocked. Well, I didn't unlock it. This lawn that I found the door to. And then see if I can find the connection to the third horn. Or oh, it might be just a different one. How do I, how do I get down? So what I'm assuming this is, I think this is a missing colour that I'm supposed to infer. So we yellow goes to missing colour, missing colour goes to whatever that one over there is. How do I get there? Okay, so this does not have the same series of locks. So it's got this thing that I just walked past it, and that's really weird. Really weird that you walk past that and don't examine it. But it is one of those doors. Oh, it's buttons. I'm probably not going to be able to guess that, but let's check this book out, just in case. Yes, I think with Revan, I didn't read the books for ages, and that hurt me. Like, I didn't physically, <laughs> you know, it, it made it more difficult to play. But, my instinct says that that's not where I'm struggling right now. Still, I mean, we're, we're at an impasse, so why not read a little bit more? This date. Well, these people never cease to amaze me. I thought they would object to my decision. After all, most of them link back to Denise specifically to see the city we built. Hang on, let's drink some tea as well. Because the time I spend in this game is always slightly longer than I think it's going to be. Like I'm, I look at the time and I go, bloody hell, it's been six hours. Yeah, this is, this is not hot. Damn it. I do have a cup as well. But... I want a tea. I want a hot cup of tea. Ah, never mind. Um, right, yes. I thought they would object to my decision. After all, most of them link back to there, there, there. But when I told them why we should not restore it, their response was immediate and unanimous. Uh, whereas yesterday they thought only of rebuilding, today they concentrate solely on salvage. They intend to take f from their ruined city only that which was best and move on. Everywhere I look... The enthusiasm for this new task is obvious. It heartens me, even as I face my own monumental contribution. I've written many ages in my lifetime, from the first timid attempts under the tyrannical tutelage of my father to the most recent accomplishment of our own. Uh, never before has so much been riding on my skill. The age I am about to write must be all I have ever imagined and more. How am I going to achieve it? We'll read more later. What's with this? This, what are you? It's a light. It's a laser beam, John. Look at it. Light there. Zbuzz. Okay, if it goes zbuzz, where does it buzz? It zbuzz is to there. That's not a useful place to zbuzz. Can I turn it? I don't think I can. So, we have three locks. And on three horns that are vaguely pointing towards... We have four horns. Yes. Buildings are on horns. 
Vaguely pointing towards the center. I am none the wiser as to solve any of this, but we did. Uh, we did amuse an animal, give us a sound. What we could do is see what the other noises do. No, I don't think we need to, John. We should definitely test, though, just in case. Here's the thing. I feel like I've definitely achieved something in here. And I don't know what. That's interesting. Curious. Pardon me. These all seem correct. Ah, no they don't. Now they seem correct. That was wrong. Hmm, hang on. Let's not give up on those pictures either. Yeah, one, two, three. Gap on. Okay, I think I might be correct now. Hmm, I don't know, maybe something was supposed to happen when I did that, so... Awesome. I believe I've unlocked the doors.
Yes. That was a nice way of telling me that I'd solved the puzzle. I should be able to... Cool. Might have always been able to do that last bit, but I didn't know. Lovely. Let's save our game. So I was just a happy mechanism. But had I not been stuck, I would have not found the bridge to the third horn. Uh, the center tower. Yes, very exciting. Sorry, I've got a scratchy nose. Um, let's get into position quickly. And uh, what's that there? Uh, I says I think we we we've got a laser to turn on or something. It's just that. What's this? That's a book. If I want to continue, and I, I guess I am chasing him, right? My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island, and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you will learn to work. Hello, Atrus. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atrus. Cirrus. And Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back? I know just how you feel. But you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Cool. That's not what I was expecting, but uh. Um, yeah. I like that I'm being given explicit instructions. I know, I imagine people coming from Riven who really loved it. Riven. So, like, oh, it's holding my hand! I'm like, no, I kind of like just knowing what, what the game wants me to do. Um. Oh, the other two. Hmm.
So what hasn't escaped my notice is that these are the locks, right? Like I, I, uh, I get that. Also, I. Oh, light. It does. It moves too, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Like that outside one. I'm not getting what's going on with that outside one. Oh, hang on, what? Okay, that was weird. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, hang on. I've, uh, it's added more pages, hasn't it? So what I'm getting is that he, the the two the two villains from the first game did something bad to this villain, and he's blaming father possibly because he doesn't know what happened. Cool. <sighs> we should read these books. This is the point of the game, isn't it? Uh, Catherine laughed this morning when she saw me drudging out my old notebooks. It must have made quite the picture. Sitting near the embers of a fire, surrounded by countless commentaries and journals, some of them seemed more dust than paper, but the hours I spent sifting through them was worth it. Ideas for what this new age might be are tumbling around in my head. It's almost too many to catch hold of. Obviously, I must choose some starting point as my anchor. Running ages is a science of a precisely structured equation of words. Every equation needs, at its foundation, an underlying concept around which the age can develop. In the past, I've written my books around whatever idea intrigued me the most of the time. I wanted to discover how the age to which the book linked would manifest the results of that idea. Sometimes civilizations had arisen, sometimes they had not. But whether a society had come to exist on the age or not, it was often in response to whatever concept the book I had written embodied. This time, I searched for a concept that must be weighed very carefully. I've already had the civilization I wish to develop. I know our history as a people who have sound. Yes, okay. It's just a very quiet game. Uh, and the paths we have followed to arrive here. Today I must write a book a link to an age that will allow us to continue on our way, growing ever stronger as one people. What underlying concept must this new age reflect that will allow our civilization to thrive? I fear I must think on this some more. Oh, I can move them. Okay, well that makes it a lot easier and that also explains what this is all about.
Hmm. I assume this is the associated door as well. I'll come back to this one. Because I don't know, that's not going to help me, is it? Those four with that lock. Whereas this might help me. Cool. So let's uh, note that on down. I'm only seeing four dots. Okay. So we'll draw a circle. Uh, put one there. That's on the outside. Uh, one there. 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 All right, so I've drawn those dots. Don't worry about what the numbers mean. Something else. We'll hope those dots will make sense. Uh, I'm gonna write, call that one bridge. Cool. Right, I made, uh, I'm going to call this one plant, uh, we'll adjust it as well. we really need adjusting, I think we have some leeway. So, uh, we're going to do this again, a big circle, um, I don't know how it's going to help us get in, but That's fine. Um, or it might not be fine, who knows. We'll draw a big dot there. And then there. There. And this one is plant. Cool. Uh, and this is the other one, I guess. Um, oh, this is the one with the five dots. Hang on, did they all have five dots? Now I'm confused. Seems about right. Again, I don't think it needs to be exact. Um, I'll 
call this a five. Uh, so outside, uh, this doesn't have an outside one. Hmm. It's slightly different. Okay. I'll draw a symbol there. And the second one is there on the left. Third one is down the bottom. And the fourth one is up on the top right. I'll add it to the next. Uh, okay. I've drawn some things. Hopefully they make sense to me or somebody in the future. Let's go explore. Can't skip this one. Now, one thing I don't know what these do <laughs> like did I accidentally pre-solve a uh, thing this is the one one I don't want to go to John go to a different one That was odd. Did I just come full circle? Okay, so this is bridge. There's a symbol. This is where we started the game, so it's nice to do this one first. Assuming we have this correct. Right. I think this is bridge, but I mean, I could just try the other ones. So, let's say up there. Uh, let's say down there. Let's say there. Let's say there. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't the plant. Okay. I should have taken a screenshot of, or a photograph. A photograph would have been a good idea. Let's take a photograph. Uh, clock. Uh, what's going on, game? Okay, we're going to take a photograph, my phone, because, yes, okay. 
Cool, we're just going to load our game. That's a picture of a cat. I mean, I do enjoy the picture of the cat, but it's not going to help me with the puzzle. Okay, I need this to... Oh. Let's load our game. Save. Lock. Load. Lock, be a lady. Now, of course, I may not have them in exactly the correct position, which is the thing I was actually worried about with this puzzle from the very beginning. But you know what? I can see now from the photograph, there are little notches. These little notches are represented on the photograph. So I reckon I only actually have to worry about being within the correct notches. Or as I like to call them, the Buenos notches. What does that mean? I don't know. Um... This one here is about here. This one is there. And this one's on the notch. What's oh, a little bit above the notch? That's correct, you bastard. It couldn't be closer. I mean, maybe I don't have the picture in the exact place, but I feel like I wouldn't. It wouldn't be far enough to. I'm gonna put it them exactly in the centres. Boo! What's this thing? Oh, the books. I'm just going to go to the other one. This one's like a code. This one's different, right? Ooh! Yes! Uh, hello, Callum, Callum Malfry. It's reminding me very much of the clock from the first game, where I I looked up the solution and I was like, oh, I was on the right track. I just didn't have the correct thing, and I hated, I hated that I had to go and reset that puzzle every single time. Uh, uh, it's a weakness of the games. It's just like you can know sort of what you're doing, but because you get no confirmation, you just. You could go anywhere with it. It's the problem I had with um, Riven, I'm afraid. There just wasn't enough feedback on whether I was even in the correct ballpark. Um, was this game's actually been pretty good for like having a dude to come out and go, oh, you sneaky son of a mother. Uh, and I'm like, oh, cool, I've, I've achieved a thing. Um, right, uh, this is not a slidey puzzle. This is clearly something else. Right, uh... But I've got four symbols. Why would... I don't know how those four symbols actually represent <laughs> those things. Cool. I uh, never did figure out what the hell this is for. I'm just assuming... Hmm. Maybe, yes. It's, uh, I, I was saying earlier, um, one of the puzzles that I accidentally stumbled upon in this was I clicked on the plant and it did the radar thing where it did the sounds. And because I've got, um, uh, what's it called? Subtitles on. It just told me I was looking at a thing. Uh, and, uh, and I was really glad because I was like, I'm really good at not noticing that it wants me to listen. Um, so like, like as soon as it did the subtitles, I was like, oh, it, it's paying attention to the noises. Um, I'm afraid I cheated to, to finish Riven. Uh, that I uh, I I really liked Riven. Um, I like the story uh, and uh, I like the kind of theme of the world. But I just I don't think in a million years I would have gotten that last puzzle. Um, I spent like goddamn hours as well. Uh, and even when I looked up what to do, I couldn't get it working. And if, some of it was just me being dumb. And some of it was um, yeah the big grid one. Some of it was me just going like I shouldn't. I got a bit impatient, to be honest, basically. Like, I didn't even notice the grid was the same grid. And then you go back and you go, oh, of course it's the same grid. But, um... 
Like, I'd, I didn't e I hadn't even brought the bridge down. So every time I looked for a hint, they were like, when you're at the marble puzzle, I was like, what marble puzzle? Because I didn't know there was a doorbell in one particular place. Uh, so, like, I'm, I'm just going to write it down as Riven being a little bit too hard for me. Um, but at the same time, I think if I'd just been more patient with it, I probably would have had a better time. Rather than being six hours very tired going, I'll just tell me the answer to this one. Like, this... But, like, this is much smaller, and I'm already appreciating that it's just... It's not introducing a hundred screens at once. Uh... Yes. Yeah, I... Like, because when I finally looked up a thing, I'd noticed I'd done stuff in the wrong order. Uh, it just assumed I'd done certain things. Yeah. And it's it seems very easy to do, to go... To skip a thing. Um, that What didn't help was that I took a year off. And I just assumed I was done with the first island. And I clearly wasn't. Um, there was Also, yes. Uh, what didn't help was one of the domes. I hadn't accessed one of the domes. Because, again, I didn't see the doorbell with the lift that takes me to one of the spinning domes. So I hadn't cottoned on that there were five and one per island. So, like, there's just a bunch of connections I just never made. Uh, and I think, I think the biggest issue I had with Riven was that it really enjoyed like letting you see everything without seeing what puzzle you're trying to solve. And I just do a lot better when the game, like, uh, I've forgotten the actor's name now, but like the actor going, ah, you're going to have to open these three books. And I'm like, cool, thank you for telling me that, because now I can focus on finding the answer to the problem you've given me, rather than me only finding the solutions to a puzzle that I've yet to find. Um... But it's an interesting experiment, at the very least. And I can see why it's a bunch of people's favourite ribbons. I imagine this. The, yeah, this seems like a hand-holdy to a lot of people. Like, that actor turns up every time you solve a puzzle, basically. Uh, and I imagine some people are like, No, I didn't want to know! Uh, but yeah. But I think I probably should have... Well, I shouldn't have taken a goddamn year off for a start. Um... But yeah, I should have played, like, shorter stints over more days, rather than just trying to pack it all in, in like, six-hour runs. Like, I may have accidentally just solved these things. I don't know if I have or not. But yeah, as you can see, I'm going reasonably fast. Um, I think. Now, this is also kind of intimidating at first. But I think it has learned not to put tiny, tiny buttons... In places that I'll never see them. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, I didn't even know there was a thing there. Oh wow! <laughs> cool. Like, it's small enough that I can stumble upon something like this. And I think I need that. Like, you can be as esoteric as you like if there's a chance that I will accidentally stumble upon your solution. Uh, I think, hopefully, I've actually... I've not been to one of the other ages yet, no. Uh, I think I've accidentally set this all up. Like, I think... Although that's broken. But these should all be sensibly linked, because I did that already. Uh... I think I did that already. That might not be correct. Oh, it is correct, yes. I'm assuming it does it does it like that. Uh Okay, the light hits there. I don't know why I keep clicking on this. I believe this is the only pattern. That has. Uh, I wasn't even going to solve these ones. I was going to go into one of the places. I just accidentally stumbled upon the thing. This one's broken. Oh. 
Oh, I see. I know what I'm doing. I'm guessing it comes here. No, this looks like it goes out. It doesn't matter. Um, but uh, yes, I can sort of see that I'm starting. I assumed it was going to shine a light on this and help me out. Maybe, perhaps. Let's leave this place and see if I've got the right sequence order for the uh, plant bridge place. I've I yeah, so this one this is this is lit up now I think. Fair enough. Yes, so this is aiming at that. Yeah, so I'm assuming that what I'm doing is I'm unlocking one of the towers. The third tower that doesn't have a thing. Uh so that's cool. And also there are only so many combinations, which is Reassuring. This is the one I couldn't get right before. Let me climb over that. Hmm, I might be thinking about it in the wrong way. I might just want to send it to there and not worry about the rest of them. Hmm. Uh, either way. First things first. Let's go uh, to here. Yes. When did I open that? I distinctly don't remember opening that door. Um, huh. Maybe just when I turn the power on. Cool. I'll take it. Possibly, yes. I'd like to see what I actually did to do, to achieve this. Uh, so this... So I did the bridge by just uh, setting this to be the one sound that I achieved. Yeah, I don't know how I did this. Uh <laughs> how did I... Do this. Uh, let's save. Ah, it's going to take too long. I'm just going to continue. Uh, yeah, but I didn't know it opened the door. Uh, maybe I just didn't click on the door. I thought there was a code. Now I'm confused. Uh, don't save. No, I want to see now. Which one? Center tower. Okay, let's load the center tower. Oh, fair enough. I just never investigated that door then. Um... That was inflated plants that like to hear the uh, creature. Um, why didn't I open the door? That was a foolish. So it basically it's another button that I didn't click. Uh, just gonna double. Ch I, oh, so this one has a thing. Yes. Whereas. It's not where I want to go to. I do kind of wish this game had warp points in it, though. Oh, 
Oh, fair enough. Thank you, Jaffras. Ha! Ah, my brain. Um... It doesn't bode well for solving puzzles. Oh yeah, of course, I see the thing now. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I saw this. I made the note of it, didn't I? Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's see if the code I wrote down makes any sense at all. Uh, PL. Okay, I didn't note the notches because I didn't see the notches at the time. Let's put it there, though. I'll take a photograph uh, when I try it again. This is unlikely to be correct. Of course not. Um, anyway, we'll load up. Load. And, uh, actually, yes, let's do save. We'll save on how did I do this. And let's load symbols. I'll double check that I have these symbols correct as well. Um, right. What I've done is I've made it impossible to tell which one's which now, haven't I? Should have wrote which symbol it was as well. Uh, uh, so I know... This this one is the uh, bridge. So I'll write a little circle there. Oh, hang on. I should know by the relative symbol, shouldn't I? That uh, green lantern symbol. Um, and I can confirm it. Thought it was that. Hang on. This is the bird. This is the. I believe the bird is the one I want. I mean, I could just zoom out and find out. Yeah, they're the plants. Lovely. Go bird. I'll be very... I'll be as precise as I could possibly be. Where's the symbol gone? Gotta start taking an eye test. Well, yeah, I, you know, the left one looks slightly better than the right one. Um, uh, zoom in a tiny bit more. Okay. That looks precise. That looks precise to me. Let's take a photograph. Um, yay! <laughs> so I've, this is the first time I've managed to hear the the um, host. Uh, did the snail come up? Oh, it's it's, it's a raid and a host. Okay, a, a thousand points. So anyone knows what film that's from? Um, this is a very <laughs> uh, exciting game for raiding. Hello, everyone. Not registering any more viewers though. Uh, but raid indeed okay I am currently taking a photograph of this bird screen thing because I'm trying to solve a puzzle okay oh well exploded yes I ex assume that's why you did the raid because you finished finished playing your game I shall have a great stream. You have a great sleep, brother. Uh, let's load our game. And save. Uh, how did I do this? Uh, we'll take a look at that photograph. Every time I do it makes me think I can solve puzzles. Um, okay, the outside is between those notches. We'll try and be as precise as possible with this. The second doobly-doo. 
uh, is there, and I'm gonna say it's there. Oh, it's gonna have to be precise, isn't it? Look, is it right in the middle? It's right in the middle. Okay, the third one is right in the middle. I say slightly to the left, actually. Let's say there. The fourth one is there. You get less accurate as you go in. Ah, I missed. Yes! Ha ha! Oh, uh, I don't know if Explody's still here. Who's the uh, actor who plays um Chucky in the film about Chucky and fun times with the murder doll? Because he's in this game. He's the villain. Right, we have a new book. A bird book. A book about birds. Adana. Hmm. Adana. Brad. Dory. Thank you. Jaffras. Yes. Uh, every time I see Brad, I know I've done something correct. I've always wanted a, f a movie... I mean, it makes less sense now because they're quite old. But um, a Brad, like a m m maybe even like a buddy driving movie with Brad Dorif and the guy from Seven, uh, the Lust guy. Because uh, I just I want I want the combination of the very nervous actor and the very evil actor, and I want them to <laughs> work together on something. And they haven't. Um, I forgot. I don't know his name either. He's in other things. He's in Aliens three doing he does literally the same thing in every film but like I love him for it um cool delicious egg I don't know if that was a delicious egg Oh, look, we found another book. Hmm. Plants. We know uh, if we use electricity on a plant, it'll open up. We've learned that. Also, yeah, I need to turn the volume down on. That raid clip. No, it's the host clip. I think it much, very much depends on the, if you host first or hate raid first, I guess. Let's see. So, what's fun about this being Brad Dorif is so the gimmick of the game is that I'm in the training books uh, that Atrus made for his evil sons. Brad Dorf is reprogrammed for some reason. I don't know if he's reprogrammed the worlds. Uh, but like, that is... Brad Dorf was on Voyager, and that is a plot of a Voyager episode as well. Where Keska reprogrammed a tr uh, like a training program uh, from the um, holodeck. And of course, every holodeck episode means somebody accidentally turns it to murder mode. Uh, anyway. Uh, although, I feel like the chances of me dying in this game are slim. But not none. Definitely not none. Mist does occasionally just kill you. It's always a weird decision in these games. Oh, I'm Riven certainly did. I had like five bad endings in that. Okay, plant reluctantly lets me climb it up. 